everyone welcome to another video from me my name is marina and today i'm going to be sharing stocking stuffer ideas um, and if you're doing an advent calendar for your babies and you're the, you're the one who's putting stuff in them these are really good ideas they range from probably a dollar to 15 dollars for each thing that i'm going to show you guys so there is everything for every price bracket um, i'm putting some cheaper items some more expensive items and stuff that I think both Kaylee and Cindy are really gonna enjoy. So let's just jump right in. I got everything from West Coast Kids and from HomeSense. Um, HomeSense had really good deals and, and West Coast Kids had a 15 to 30% sale. So I thought it was the perfect time to go and finish up all my stocking stuffers and my advent calendar little inserts. So I'll start with Simi's age. So this is anything for anyone from a year and a half to three, I think would really enjoy these things. And then we'll do Kaylee's after. So for Simi, the first thing on the first day, I'm going to be putting the elf on the shelf for her. Well, it's the first time she'll be hearing about this. Um, and then I'll kind of introduce it in a fun way to her. And um, I'll introduce it in a fun way to her. And then the theme of the Elf on the Shelf will be going on with us until the 24th day. So that's on day one. And everything else is on random days, depending on if it's something that we're gonna be using that day, I'll just put it in. I got her a new sippy cup, her favorite purple. Um, and I know she's gonna be really excited about this one because she has an obsession with cups anyways. So this is a really good. Then I thought, um, I was just walking around and I found strawberry toothpaste and this really nice brush that's like from all angles and this one's meant for two-year-olds and, and i thought this would be a really good way to get her excited about brushing her teeth she already does it and likes it at night but i thought this was a fun way and this brush in particular um, for her to be able to get like everything without brushing properly so these ones go together on the day and then i found this really fun car i wanted to buy all of them at west coast kids this one was a bit more expensive it was ten dollars but basically you price this down and then it flies away she's gonna she's gonna lose it over this one i know i always forget what these are called i think it's called the spinning top whatever you guys know this thing from our childhood but i got one of those then over probably four or five days i'm gonna be giving her baking supplies because we'll be making christmas cookies together i already got the jar and everything so she'll pretty much like just get the gift and then we'll use it that day one day she will get these three together on another she'll get snowmen because those are her favorites and then over two days i'll be splitting these so these are like christmas themed ones and we will bake with them and then she can use them in her play kitchen because they're a smaller size one day i know it's the simplest one but she'll probably be the happiest with this one is her favorite snack those are the uh baby gourmet i think it's the yogurt melts i forget what they're called then i got this um wooden magnetic shapes in vehicles so west coast kids also had um, the alphabet i think animals and um, numbers she already has alphabet and numbers uh, but she has an obsession with anything that moves but these would be really good there's 35 in these so i can get five days worth out of them um, and she'll 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 love this and this is also a really good idea for later to maybe put like the numbers one two three on her magnetic board and then enough shapes at the bottom and then she has to put one with one two with like two shapes with number two three shapes with number three so it's a really good introduction to numbers as well in a really fun way this one i picked up from homesense it's a lacing set um, which i know she'll really enjoy and i picked the farm theme um, and i can give her this over a couple of days as well i'll see how i'm gonna split it up but yeah, just go with whatever your, your kid's favorite obsession is pretty much. And hers is farm, so we've got this. Then I got my first stamp set. This is also from HomeSense, and it's Melissa and Doug. I love everything Melissa and Doug makes, pretty much. Um, and she's really into stamping at the moment. She loves it. We do it with potatoes. I've got um, snowman stamps. So there's lots of different ways to do it. But I love these ones because they have a little like grip it's really easy for her to to press it down herself without getting any of the ink on her hands so got this one and she can see the shapes and again you see the farm theme is uh is here <laughs> and then lastly i got her this and this is from my um clothing haul from 
West Coast kids, which I'll be showing you throughout this video. And so it's this like oversized um, sweater dress, it's so sweet. And I got her and Kaylee the matching one. So on the same day, they will both open this one. And then I think I have about mm, four or five days left um, to fill. So I'm either going to be doing more of her favorite snacks or I'll be doing Play-Doh, just individual uh, Play-Doh, which you can get from the dollar store. And that's it, 24 items um, that you can either put in your stocking stuffers or advent calendar for your two to three year old. Moving on to Kaylee's, which was a lot harder for me because what do you get a three months old? Um, so I got stuff that she could maybe enjoy now and things that she can do later. And I threw in a lot of the clothing that I bought from West Coast Kids because it's something that she needs and she won't really be able to tell the difference between a dress and a, um, a toy at this moment. Um, so I got her this Infantino um, teether, which has like a spin thingy that makes sound. So it's a rattle and teether in one. I got her a rattle. I got her cute little booties to keep her warm from H&M, a wooden bell, a rainmaker. And then I saw this at West Coast Kids and it just looked so intriguing to me that she had to have it. It's six months plus, so she may not use it exactly during the Christmas time, but for sure in the next couple of months she will. And it's just a grabby toy. And honestly, what got me was it's a keep their attention toy. So I wanna see if the claim is actually true. And I got her a rainbow um, as part of her room decor. I'm very into this vibe at the moment. And so when I saw this at West Coast Kids, I had to have it and I got 20% off it, so. Then I got her another teether, which looks like it's really easy to grab. And it's got different textures. So it's really cool for her when she starts teething. Then I got her the Sophie the Giraffe Rattle, and this one actually lights up um, and also plays music, so it's really neat. And the remainder is all clothing that's going to be going in Kaylee's um, advent calendar. And then I'll just finish off with the other stuff that I bought in my clothing haul. <laughs> so I got these really cute daughters. If you guys could feel this knitted, like I want this in adult form. It's so, so soft and so cozy. more you can tell that loungewear was really the theme of this they had pretty dresses too but i just i feel like for the winter we're all just going to be in loungewear especially with the lockdown got a this so this is a company i really like they're called miles and they make really nice quality basics for babies and toddlers i got her these ones and i got most of the things in three to six and six to nine so she'll definitely have time to wear them and then I snagged a couple of Quincy May pieces. They, they didn't have that many left, um, but I just like this piece. I mean, there's the dress that she has uh, matching with her sister. So one day they'll open it both together. More Quincy May pants, which I just couldn't resist. I want the girls to match, but I don't want them to match at all times. So I picked some stuff that they can match. Maybe the bottom will match, the top won't. Um, but it just, it was so nice that I just couldn't get one and not the other. The joggers that I really wanted, I got for Kaylee and for Simi. And I think this is my favorite piece that I bought for both of them. Um, so for Kaylee, she'll get the bottoms. Honestly, if they had these in adults, I, I would have gone crazy. But, but these ones, and then um, the top I'll just figure out. And then Simi that day could be wearing this dress in the exact same fit. And look at that. That is just so stylish. And then lastly, I got a Cuddling Kind toy. Not this exact one, um, because I've already wrapped it, but um, it's from the same company, and the girls love these. Simi's obsessed, like she, she has a whole family, and she's obsessed with them, that's who she goes to sleep with every single day. And Kaylee, I'm just slowly getting her in that habit as well, and I know these are gonna be her best friends. So I grabbed one, so each one of them has four total, mom, dad, Simi, and Kate. And that is it. Um, these were just quick ideas for stocking stuffers and advent calendar pieces. Um, HomeSense, like I said, is amazing. West Coast Kids is amazing. And then just for more fillers, the dollar store, especially if you find a good one, has a lot of little stuff like Play-Doh, like crayons, um, any of that stuff, and that will just fill it up. I found that I filled 24 different days quite easily, um, but other ideas that I had for if I ran out would be socks, um, little hair clips, scrunchies, headbands um, for girls, 
for boys, um, I would do, again, socks, um, little toy cars. I mean, I could even put that person in, to be honest. Um, but yeah, toy cars. And for any baby similar to Kaylee's age or a little bit older, um, any kind of teether, you can't have enough of them. Those um, bead necklaces are really good too. And those self feeders, I think, would be a really good stocking stuffer too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and let me know if you want to see more of this type of content. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.